Hey, what's up YouTube? Um, I figured to make this video and it is on uh, laptops. So for all of you people that have laptops out there, this is uh, kind of an important video. It might not be if you know you have an extra computer or things like that or you know a lot about computers. It might be a complete waste of time. Alright, um, I'll give you uh, the story behind it all and you know you can go from there. But anyways, um, my girlfriend's sister bought a, got a laptop for Christmas. She's going to graduate this year. She'll be 18 years old. And, or she's 18 years old already now and she's going to graduate. And her laptop just stopped working. She had paper on there. She had pictures on there. She had everything on there. Alright, so, you know, to take it in or whatever to get it fixed from, you know, the company or whatever, you know, they'll go ahead and do it because it's under warranty. It's within a year. Well, that's not the issue. The issue is the stuff that you have on the computer. And you kind of need a second computer to do this, which, I mean, I don't know anybody that doesn't know somebody that has a computer or, you know, like, can't go to school and do it or, you know, I, I really don't know anybody that, you know, like, unless you live out in BFE, and, uh, but anyways, um, I have a computer, so I could extract the information and put it on my computer. Obviously, if it's too much, then I can't. But, uh, I figured to go ahead and make a video on the stuff you need for this. Alright, check it out. Uh, sorry, I wish I could edit these videos so that it wouldn't look like shit, but it doesn't let me for some reason. Wrong way. Alright, you need to get on eBay, and they're called, uh, hard drive cases. That's all you type in is hard drive cases. And you guys can see, hopefully, hard drive cases. And they have different sizes, so you have to know the size. I have one right here. And I bought this just in case, and it was $3 on eBay from China or Hong Kong or whatever. And I'll take it out. I'm going to try to do this one handed. Bear with me. Screw it. I'm doing it for both. Let's see if I can. There we go. All right, here it is. And that's what, that's what her hard drive looks like. And they, we've already had to open it uh, with uh, HP, and they told us to open it. So we figured if we're gonna open it already, you slide it out like so, and you kind of wiggle it out. I'm gonna try to wiggle it out. You want to be careful with this stuff, and that's all it is right there. And I could put in any hard drive in here, and voila, you know. And then all you need is a USB cord, and here's the little slot right there. You put it in, it goes up to your computer. You can manually start it, manually start your computer off of the uh, hard drive, or you can just open it up and you know go into your user and if you're looking for a certain document, go ahead and grab it and you know copy paste. Pretty simple. Um, if you guys have any questions or comments about that, uh, feel free. Um, if you just buy the case, let's say you know. 10 years from now you don't ever use the case I mean they're $2, $5, they're not that expensive if you go ahead and just buy the case and uh, you never get around of your laptop breaking or anything like that I mean people have to replace laptops you know eventually well you can re remove the hard drive buy a new used hard drive sell your laptop let's say it's getting old and you're gonna buy a new one anyways and with this thing you then have an external hard drive that you can, you know, save your pictures, your music, excuse me, too. And it's kind of a cheaper way of doing it because, I mean, you're going to pay for your laptop. I don't know why my camera's doing that. You're going to have to pay for your laptop anyways and do all that anyways. So, I mean, it's just a cheaper way of doing it. Like, I've already gone through one laptop. Um, I have my external right here. Obviously, I had to remove it from it. But I can download music and everything to this. And you can buy these online also. And... You know, you could buy 500, one trig, one whatever it is for uh, 40 bucks or something like that. And let's say you can't upgrade your laptop. That's another thing you can do is swap it out and use it like that. So I just forget to make the video on it. It's just a hard drive case on eBay. Uh, there's one right here for five bucks, six bucks free shipping. They have different colors. There's different sizes. Um, norm, you, you got to look at your laptop and check out the size most laptops are 2.5 uh, computers are 3 I think it's 3.5 so make sure you know the size of it so make sure you check out that uh, but it's just something you can do um, we called HP or whatever HP said that they would back up the information you know so that you didn't lose it and that they would charge $50 um, they bought it from Nebraska Furniture Mart Nebraska Furniture Mart will do it for 90 
So just think about that. That costs you five dollars to do, and the amount of money it'll save you. So you know, let's say it crashes and something bad happens, and I'm just showing you something you can do. Order from China. Granted, I guess nobody really wants to. Uh, there's people out there that have cheaper solutions. You know, like they just have the cord and they can pull it out like that. I don't like that. I like it being in a case just in case it breaks or anything like that. Um, I would show you guys how to put it in, but it's kind of hard to do with one hand. Why is this doing this? Hold on a second. There we go. Um, I'm going to try to do it anyways because I have to put it in anyways, so bear with me. Alright. Here it is right here. And you got to make sure the prongs like follow up. Hold on, where is it? You got to make sure they follow up, right? And I'm going to try to get it zoomed in. And then you just slide it down. And that's it. And then all you have to do is pop the top on. Hold on a second. And then there's a little button right here. And you just push it and that's what opens it. And when you plug it in, there's a little light right here. So it's really simple. Um, I got the cheaper, just normal, basic one. They have some that are pink, some that are blue. I mean, I can spray paint this and make it look like whatever I want it to. So, but like I said, this is, you know... Let's say you buy a new laptop and it gets old after five years, you can keep the hard drive and you have extra memory. You know, you never know with things like this, you know, if you if yours breaks, I'm pretty sure you'd rather spend five dollars versus ninety. I mean you could take this up to the computers up at the library for free and you know, email it to yourself. You know, whatever pictures and things like that. It'll take you some time, but it's not hard to do and I just figured I'd show people what you can do to save some money instead of charging an IT guy to do it for uh, 90 to 50 bucks. I mean, like, there's people online that will do it cheaper. But, I mean, it literally took me... It took me longer to open the back of the laptop remove this than it did for me to actually just download it. I mean, it took me not even a minute. I mean, seriously, to get all the paperwork off of there and the photos. So I just figured to make the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. There's probably a lot of computer people out there, so it probably didn't help a whole lot. Peace.